let's queer up politics. House Democrats move to censure openly gay Republican Representative George Santos. A group of Democratic House members, members announced on Monday that they plan to introduce a resolution to formally censure Representative George Santos, the indicted New York Republican who has been caught in a wide array of lies about his upbringing, resume, and family, and faces multiple charges of money laundering and fraud. The censure resolution, the strictest punishment Congress can hand down aside from expulsion, is being led by Representative Richie Torres. The House Ethics Committee has yet to release its report on Santos after House Republicans referred an expulsion resolution against him to the committee in May. Representative Nick LaLota, one of the New York Republicans who wanted Santos to resign, said at the time they expected the House Ethics Committee to issue a report a couple of months later. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said in May that he hoped the Ethics Committee would move quickly in response to the censure resolution. He thinks that Democrats should allow the Ethics Committee to carry out its process. Because Democrats are in the minority in the House, they do not control what legislation makes it to the House floor. However, any member of, can force a vote on censure resolution over the House majority's objections. The breadth and depth of his deception is so staggering that it cries out for congressional punishment. And a public censure is the least that we can do to hold George Santos accountable. I think it's uh, super interesting that for once there's some Republican support for something like this. Um, you, you, you often you see all the stories about DeSantis and you say, well, is there no low? Is there no <laughs> bottom to the barrel um, for the Republicans? It seems like there might be at least because even Republicans in Congress have been saying he should resign. Even voters in his own district aren't supporting Santos. Um, so I think it's it's interesting. I'm not I'm not uh, championing that we've turned some sort of page and you know, <laughs> some, you know accountability, but it, it it it's quite interesting to me. I'm so I'm sure. sick. I'm so sick of George Santos. I'm just so sick. In Spanish, me la tiene pela. Okay, <laughs> you find out what that means. Okay, I need for him to shut up, stop lying, stop being gay, and stop being brown. Okay, because you are marking two boxes ah, that I ah. am, and it makes me sad every time I see your face. <laughs> you, you know, um, he is, I'm sure he's the bottom of the barrel on many more things than that. <laughs> but the, 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 the fact is that the Republicans are, are slow walking this. M McCarthy can say he wants uh, this done swiftly. But the fact is, they've got a five vote majority. If he gets expelled, it's probably going to go down to four votes because a Republican will take, or a Democrat will take that seat back. They're gonna probably lose a seat in Alabama in the next cycle. That really only gives them three seats right. no to, to play with as they go forward. So as much as they may hate him because he's gay and a liar and a uh, pants gay on, and a liar. And pants on fire <laughs> liar, they, yeah. they need his vote because the first vote he takes every session is who's going to be speaker, which party will mm -hmm. get to have their speaker. Yeah. And they need that vote badly. That's another. And reason. Republicans don't care about Santos. They let him get away with what he's getting away with because it's a vote. It's a vote on their side. This is a numbers game. You know, but I can't believe he's been able to get away with what he's been able to say and do over the years. I mean, he's even inspired a character on SNL. Like, how bad do you have to be? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you know, it's not going to be popular, but uh, Congressman Tories is wrong. And Congressman Tories is wrong to call for uh, the Democratic, uh, basically, contingent in the House uh, to censure him. Uh, all, every single thing, I agree with every <laughs> single thing that's been said, except its conclusion. Because we have watched the Republicans do the exact same thing over and over and over again, and we have criticized them every step of the way. When someone in Arizona uh, said that uh, the election was not fraudulent in Arizona. The Republicans in Arizona censured uh, the the representative of uh, Phoenix uh, and um, I believe Mesa County uh, in action. And the Republicans have done this repeatedly all over the country in censuring against anything that stood up for Joe Biden, for the election, etc. I don't see any difference here. Santos is despicable. 
Okay, that's absolutely clear. But the idea that the Democrats, without waiting for the Ethics Committee to make a decision and to call for censure of him before the completion of the reasonable process, it's been a couple of months, of the reasonable process of the projection of whatever uh, chairman or the House Speaker McCarthy thinks is a reasonable speed. Absolutely, I agree with John's uh, point that they're slow walking it, but at the end of the day, the procedure is in place and we should follow the procedure. And Representative Torres is demanding, like a little spoiled child, that we're going to censor him, which will have no impact right. at all. None. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, the House has already made a decision on Santos. They voted. While there may be some Republican votes, not enough to remove him because they tried to do that and they, the majority would not act on Santos. Um, at the end of the day, the conclusion is the conclusion. As much as we don't like it, it is the conclusion. We should follow the process, we should accept the process, and we should wag our fingers at the Republicans for doing exactly what the Democrats now want to do, which is exactly the same thing. And it's wrong on both sides including our side, in my opinion. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community. We educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.